I'm in my kitchen today so I can show you how to sew because it's just easier on this big table than it is in my office to be able to record. So I'm going to show you how you can make that overskirt super cute, easy, cheap, super easy. And all you have to do is know how to sew a straight line. First off, you want to find a sheer material for the top thing here. And I found at a thrift store this dress. It looks like maybe it was somebody's prom dress. Four bucks. Four bucks. And it was 50% off. Check it out. Somebody paid more than two dollars for it originally i can guarantee you but it has this stripey material i love stripes like this i own a dress that has something like this so i'm going to use this top layer for the overskirt i found two of them actually different two different styles of dresses this one was originally $14.99 but this one was on sale too so I got it for $7.50 this one I'm probably gonna make a skirt out of it this, isn't this a cute dress I got this off of Amazon for like $14.99 super cute what we're gonna do is take the top layer of the thrift store dress cut it at the right length put a ding a ding a ding a ding a one of these oh, things ouch in there so it doesn't fall down this is the bottom of a crinoline that i just cut and i'm gonna take this lace off and sew it to the bottom of this need scissors, ribbon, satin ribbon, and then we have our thrift store gown. I should actually put this on. First thing I'm going to do is cut this fabric. I'm going to cut the, I know I have nail polish on my finger, get over it is cut the lace off of the crinoline because if I tried to rip it off the whole thing would rip. I'm going to cut this top fabric off of the rest of the dress and I'm just gonna do it like sure yeah. It's super duper wide. It's like so, and I don't want it super floofy. So, what I'm going to do is probably cut it. So it's, you know, like maybe that wide. Otherwise, it's just going to be ridiculously big, the bottom. Cut, cut. I'm not being super particular about it. <clears throat> okay, so cut one, down one, and down the other. It's super slippery. Okay, just to get that extra fabric out of the way. And I'll use this for something else. I want to cut this in like half. 
lengthwise. Boom, it's cut. So now it's cut to a length that will be like a little skirt. And that's what you want. All right, let me make sure it's even or even enough. Eh, it's even enough. It'll be kind of cool if it has a woo 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 edge anyway. So now, what is next is I'm going to sew the lace on the bottom. Now I have the lace sewed onto the bottom. And then the next thing to do is to make a new <clears throat> seam. So I'm going to cut off these strings. Where's the other side? Make sure you're doing this inside out too, otherwise you're screwed. This fabric is so light and airy. It's kind of annoying to work with sometimes because it rolls up. So then you're gonna take that, and make a new seam. Try yes, my nails and my machine have seen better days, but if they were perfect, then I wouldn't have been using them, would I? Nope. Okay, so the new seam is done. Seam, what I mean. Also, I trimmed it down so when you see it on the other side, it doesn't look all. Oh, look, a piece of Mr. Meow hair. Thank you, Mr. Meow. I'm gonna make like a seam, just super simple for the elastic to go through. And I'm gonna do it super simple because since this is going to be worn under a corset, I really don't care if the edge looks really kind of Make sure you make it wide enough. Otherwise you won't be able to get it in there. That's what she said. Oh, hell. So I'm just realizing how thick my elastic is and I'm hoping that I made the seam big enough because I was paying attention. I think so. Like it's just big enough. So what you want to do is measure this around your waist, how it would fit, you know, and then cut it and then I'll show you how to put it in. Okay, so when putting elastic into a seam, Make sure that you don't sew it so you have a hole so you can get it in there. You take a safety pin and you hook it on the bottom of the elastic like this. This is the only size I had, so this is going to kind of suck. You thread it in like so. And then you just keep pushing the safety pin. You get closer. Whoa! You just keep pushing the safety pin. But hold on to the end so you don't lose it back into your thing. You know what I mean? So now both sides are through. See? Pull it through and then sew the two ends together. Oh, pull it through and even it out. I have it pinned right now. I'm wearing it over this dress so I could show you. Like, I'll show you how to fold it and pin it. You're going to put it on and then hold it, you know, like where you want it. I suggest about where your hip bones are over your legs, you know, so it, it'll lay nicely. It might be hard to see because I'm wearing black too, but I'll show a close-up of how you fold it and then sew it. 
So when you tie it back, it lays really nice. I decided to use my brain and show you on the mannequin. It makes more sense and it's easier to see. I folded it up in a certain way here. You could see one, two, three folds. And then this is where I'm going to sew it. And then once the ribbons are on, it'll come back and lay like this. You don't have to have a mannequin. You could do this on yourself in front of a mirror. But it's just folding it in these certain ways. So I'll show you. You fold up once like that. And then onto the back, just like that. Now you need to measure the ribbon so you have enough to bring around your body and tie it. I think that's enough, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just enough. So maybe I'll do a little bit more. There we go. So this will be this thing. Cut this in half. Cut that in half. I don't know how many yards that is. Maybe you know by like two yards, just to be safe. I always over. But I, I like to buy it by the spool like this, so I always have it on hand. Now I'll sew the folds right where the pins are. So I'm just going to stick it right in there. <coughs> Lily, I don't need your help. So now I just sewed the tie backs to that edge or the folds that I sewed. You see that? Cross it like that. And bring it down. Wait. So it's like that. And then I'm just gonna I'm wrapping the satin around it for texture, just so it has extra texture. You know, like, so it's just not satin, satin. It's just, I mean, velvet, velvet. Oh my gosh, stop. Everybody, stop. I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple times. So now to sew this part. Cute little bow. It's crooked. But we'll fix it. 
And sew that. The bows are sewn on and it's completely done. And I will put it on and show you how it works. Ta da! All done and laying nicely. Took the two strings and tied it in the back, like I showed in my other video. And you can tuck it up underneath the corset, but I'm going to be wearing a bustle 